All right, uh, here at the Delaware Jet Factory, I just finished uh, the final in install and test out of the landing gear for this uh, Skymaster F-16. It took a while because I had to replace uh, almost all the T-fittings in here because they leaked. Anyway, it works great now. Uh, doors coming up, or uh, wheels coming up. And the doors closing. In the reverse, doors opening, wheels coming down. What you can't see from in uh, when the plane is finished, of course, is uh, the mechanics for the landing gear, uh, because it's hidden by all the turbine stuff. So this is what it looks like from inside the plane before I put the turbine in. It's like the real one. It swings up. There's little, a little locking mechanism inside the struts that, that keep it up as long as air is supplied. Kind of neat. Coming down. You know, the locks are uh, in, in here. So there's a lot going on in here, but uh, it works great. Now there's no leaks. Uh, it'll be very reliable. The front landing gear is unique and it has a, a, a hydraulic actuator, which is the little piston up on top, and it drives the it drives the front wheel left and right through a, a, essentially a miniature hydraulic system. I don't know how many other planes use this, but this one has this. Seems like it provides pretty positive control. Okay, that's it for now. I guess I'll move on to the next system, which will be the lighting system. I'll just put these away. I could probably slow those doors down with a little uh, brass fitting to put in the airline, a restrictor. They're working a little bit too fast right now. I'll take care of that. Okay, with a restrictor in the line, it's much better. <clears throat> and that's uh, that's a Robart restrictor. It goes right in the airline. Easy peasy. Now it's on to the lights.